hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i achieved my baby hairs with a closure so if you'd like to find out how i achieved this then keep on watching so i received this hair in a lovely box and i just received a wig cap then i also got a head band like a silk one which is really nice of them and i also got a satin bag to store my hair the hair came in this package and it says 24 inches on there and it comes with a hair guide and just tells you more information about the hair you've received and um, the hair comes covered in this net and then you can see that the curls are really cute and I was really happy to see the ends are curly as well. Um, this hair wasn't bleached, so I had to bleach the knots. Um, it came with little clips inside to pin it in your hair. And afterwards, I just started to bleach the hair. So let me show you how I've done that. So first you want to protect your mannequin because you don't want to get any stains on there like I have as you can see so I've started to protect that and then afterwards you want to use your got to be spray and spray it on top of the lace and you just comb it through then you want to dry it down with a blow dryer. Next you want to flip your wig inside out and pin it onto the mannequin head then you want to get your got to be hairspray and spray it all over the closure and dry it down with your hair dryer again next i went in with a 20 developer and i went in with some white powder bleach you can use any that you like and I just took two scoops of the powder bleach and I eyeballed the amount of developer I needed. Um, I like to use a thick consistency just so it doesn't run through the lace because when it does that, you end up with orange or brassy roots. So I try to avoid that by making sure that the paste is very thick. Once you're happy with your consistency, you want to spread the paste all over the closure and just making sure that it's even and that you're not pressing too hard that it seeps through the lace. Once that's complete, just get some foil paper and just cover it up and leave it there for 20 minutes. Here's my result after, it's very blonde and I wash it out with purple shampoo. I plucked the, I plucked the hairline just a little bit and this is the final result. So in order to glue my hair down, I make sure that my forehead is clean and I clean it with alcohol. Um, you can watch all my other videos and I give a more detailed explanation but for now just sit back and enjoy this time lapse. True. 
As you know, I'm not the biggest baby hair fan. However, with curly hair, I do really like it. So I like to take light amounts of hair in the front and I just make sure it's very sparse and that I don't take too much. And then what you're gonna see me do is just clip my hair away and do the same on the other side and just find the areas where I'd like to have my swoops with my baby hair. Once you're happy with the amount of baby hair you've pulled out, I just use a hot comb to separate the two from the main body of the hair and the baby hair I've pulled out. Just be careful though because you can burn yourself. It is really hot, so be careful. So no one has long ass baby hairs like that so you just want to cut them off. You can use scissors, you can use a blade, you can use those eyebrow razors. Um, I just use a blade kind of comb and just make them a bit short but not too short and I just see how much I like it and then if I find it too long I just cut it again. I'm going to use some mousse and a brush just to do my baby hairs. This will take you a long time to get a hang of, so be patient, don't rush, even I'm not a pro, so you're going to see me take a while to be happy with my baby hairs because I'm very picky. Sometimes I find that your baby hairs can look too thick and it looks very fake so I tend to pluck some hairs out. Um, just be careful that you don't rip your lace whilst doing this. If a brush is not working for you, you can try a toothbrush or a spoolie as I have. Um, spoolies are like what you use to brush up your brows or brush out your lashes. Um, I find that it does work well as it smooths out the hair at the same time. Once that's all done, you want to tie your head back. You can use tights, you can use a silk scarf. I used an elastic band and just tied it down and then I put a silk scarf on top of that. And once it's tied, you just want to blow dry your hair on heat. moment of truth and your hair should be melted down i didn't keep this in for long but i just thought i'll be quick for the purpose of the video what i like to do is comb out the baby hairs so it's a bit more fluffy and it doesn't look like it's you know gelled to my hair i hate when it's got that rock hard look so i just have a comb it out or brush it out just to give it more of a natural look Once you're done, you just want to get your wax stick and then hot comb it out into the position that you like it in, making sure that everything is smooth and flat.
And here is a close-up of the closure along with the baby hairs. Very simple, not too much going on and it's a good width apart. I'm just very happy with this hair. It actually looks really cute. Oh my god. So that is the end of this video. This hair was kindly sent to me by Wiggins Hair. All the details about this hair will be below. I just want to show you how curly is this hair and it's curled to the ends. I feel like some curly hair that you get is just like straight at the bottom, but these curl all the way through. The hair doesn't tangle whatsoever. When I co-washed it, um, I didn't have any, you know, tangles. It did shed a little bit, but that's expected with um, curly hair so that's normal um, but I really like this hair it's so lightweight and it's very very natural looking the lace is really nice on this and um, it's strong so I don't feel like it will start shedding as you do with HD lace but this is very very nice so this hair is 24 inches and it comes about to my belly button just here I hope you guys can see so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you are. so I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you are interested in more videos from me please comment down below make sure you subscribe like this video and I'll see you in my next one bye